But all of these things were designed to try to bring out something that had otherwise potentially been suppressed in some way and to celebrate it. All of them do that except for whiteness studies. And whiteness studies is explicitly an attempt to problematize being white. Oh, this is really toxic stuff. And I show in, in the chapter on race the sort of consequences. Because if you problematize any group of people, if, if you problematize any skin color, it means you are problematizing some people, the people who have that skin color. And you see this in the culture now, the use of the, of the term white as a derogatory term. Mm -hmm. You see these ones with gammon and things like that, you know, hilarious, hilarious, you know, when racism is hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, people say, oh, well, you're probably just saying this because you're a white gammony uh, uh, so-and-so. No, I, I'm noticing it because it disturbs me. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the tone of it. And what's more, I can start to see what's going to happen back. Because just as surely as with any group of people, if you say your skin color is a problem, there will be some people who will go along with that. And there will be a lot, and I would suggest the majority actually, who say, excuse me, excuse me, this is a hardware thing it has nothing to do with my character or my life choices. It's neither good nor bad. It is a moral nothing. Just like I would submit the position we should be in on issues to do with sexual identity and issues to do with being a man or being a woman. It is not, a di it is not the way to look at me and it doesn't say anything either good or bad. But... With the whiteness studies thing, it pushes this idea, no, being black is better. Being anything is better than being white. Mm. 